this is Ella Schneider. I am working on my Detroit pet portrait of the Duke, a Chihuahua as John Wayne. And um, in my first tutorial I posted, I kind of showed what I was bummed about or what I didn't like about it. Um, so I did correct the face a little bit before I made this underbite a little bit more pronounced. Um, I haven't elongated the gun. I'm going to do that in a minute or two. And I started on just blacking in this part. So here's the, the photo reference. Um, and eventually I want this to be a nice, beautiful orange. I'm going to do some light blue at the top here. Um, fade into yellow. So you can see there's some blue popping through. There's some tones of yellow popping through. And then I've got all this purple and orange and kind of a ready orange and more yellow down here. Usually sunsets are gonna be um, lighter down here and then you kind of go. I usually do the lightest to the darkest. So this is going to be interesting. I picked this background because it's a total challenge so I might um, have a little trouble with it but as I go, I'll learn. Um, that's the best thing about doing these commissions is that I am pretty much just paying myself to learn how to paint. I've only been painting for about a year. Um, and I did go to art school, but I didn't, I only did like one or two painting classes. It was mostly sculpture and film. So um, yeah, just learning that. And I have a very watered down palette or a turpenoid. So I've got my little thing of turps. And then I'm only doing that now because by the time, like this will only take a day or two to dry. Um, it's so watered down that way I can work it work it again so my next steps are to put the blue up here I'm gonna do that I'm gonna correct the hand and gun um, I'll do that I might not be so worried about the gun I might just paint over it and paint it in later um, just so I don't jack up the background here um, I probably could have waited on the black but I'm glad I didn't. Um, I'll go in later and put some details. You can see it's pretty thin right now, and that's gonna dry flat. You, like you see a little ridge, but that that will totally dry flat. And it's really brown, lots of colors of that. And I want it to be pretty blackened out because that's what happens. There's a little bit hint, so I'll probably add a thing here to make the bush more, more foreground. Um, maybe I'll even come in with a little bit once I get it all blackened and it's totally dry um, I'll probably come in here and even maybe add some orange uh, low lights in that see the little thing there? I'll try to get that in there um, yeah so I gotta correct this next ooh, ooh, ooh. yeah it's just a little too big so I want to make the gun bigger and to downplay the hand size. Plus it's, mine's coming out more, I wanna probably make it more like that. Um, so also I'm going to, I'm not really gonna do too much with the fur, I might put a little pink in here tonight before I let it dry. Um, not too worried about the brown on the fur. I will, I might, I might block in some of these, like see how it's darker here, darker darker hair and usually when I'm painting um, I use like a Van Dyke brown that's that kind of brown and that's the black and typically the most black thing is going to be around the eye here um, just the top that's usually the darkest and then in the nostril or maybe the crevice of the mouth um, I am going to add a little bit of teeth so I kind of left a little space here I'm gonna add some teeth in there because some of the other photos the client sent me did have some teeth. I'm also gonna put the blue in here, get the brown down for the vest, add add some white. So I've got that, just the first layer down, um, and that will help. And then I've got a couple more paintings back there I can work on um, to finish up. I need to get that rooster done. Public Pool's doing a fundraiser, so that's gotta get done soon. And yeah, cool. Thanks. Tutorial number two. Whoop. All right. <laughs> Bye.